Hello guys, it's Fent here and welcome to the weekly vault opening video. Oh, I screwed up the intro. It's fucking coming at you at 6 a.m. because I can't sleep. Um, hopefully we... <laughs> that was cringe. All right. <laughs> You're going to have to excuse me. I haven't slept. Um, we should have some decent vaults. I have um, two mythic raid options and a heroic raid option on uh, plus three mythic plus 20s on my shaman. I have a plus 20 on my monk. I'm not sure if I did another one. I don't think so. So I think it's just a Hail Mary plus 20 on the monk. And on the DK, there's a 16 and some piss low four, five ish. But so a Hail Mary 16, essentially. So let's see what we get. Starting with the lobby, the DK. It is basically guaranteed to get an upgrade. Whether or not it's a good one is another question, yeah. <clears throat> All right. What loot spec are we? Unholy? Oh, we'll take that. Big two-hander coming in hot, maybe, potentially. Almost kind of don't want a two-hander because I can craft them. But then, on the other hand... Yeah, so this was the low one. Four fifteen gauntlets. We'll take them. They're ready for the catalyst. It's a decent size upgrade. This oh no, I fucked up. Oh no. Let's see what key we get. Uh it's a decent size upgrade. It it wasn't the top priority, I think. But it could be way worse. It could have been a necklace or something, yeah. Halls of Valor 15. Oh, right. We didn't time the 16. This blood decay is not ready for 16s, by the way. <laughs> Maybe tyrannical, actually. Maybe tyrannical, actually. Tyrannical is probably fine. Bosses are a lot easier to deal with because it's, it's just about having defensives up for the tank busters. Yeah, and then... It's not like there's going to be five bosses hitting you at once. Only one. <laughs> Sometimes two. Let's see what the monk has for our Hail Mary 20. I hope we get a good 20 key, though. Because we did time. Ooh. We did time the 20. So maybe I can sneak in a little Shadow Moon Burial Ground, yeah? And use my portal. Let's see. Oh, we're dropping FPS like crazy because I'm sorting the bags, I'm assuming. Can this stop? Alright. Are we in Windwalker? We are in Windwalker. Let's go. Big, big items. Big items. A two-handed staff. That's not good. That's pretty sad. I guess we take the the head but we don't want to use head though oh this is a sad vault actually fucking three tier pieces though <laughs> oh this is so good and yet so bad at the same time because like i'm so close to being able to craft a 418 and i'm pretty sure let's just check the website oh you shouldn't be sad about a weapon though I'm pretty sure that you want to use two-handers. Mm. Let's see. PvE guys. I'm pretty sure you want to use two one-handers, I mean. Um, but it might just say use whatever the fuck you have. Uh, let's see. TLDR generally dual wielding wins for now with full enchants and consumables. It is likely that later in the expansion two handed weapons will pull ahead. Yeah, so right now, obviously, this is going to be a big upgrade for sure. Um, because obviously I'm wearing a 405, yeah. But literally two more key keys. And that thing is a four. 18 yeah and then this is not as good headpiece i don't think i want to use the headpiece 
I think I want to use the that flaring cowl thing. Legs, I have better. So that's a yikers. How do I get fucking <laughs> three tier pieces? The headpiece is from fucking Razagan, though. But I want to use everything except the headpiece, right? I'm using five piece right now. I want to swap out the head. So I should probably take the gloves. That just feels bad because the tear is super easy. Oh, this weapon though, man. 421 verse mastery weapon. But I've already crafted a weapon. Oh, this is not easy. This is not easy. I should take this. I really should just fucking take this. Yeah, I will. I will take this because I only have one weapon anyways, right? So this will be useful. This is... This I can get easily. This I don't want to use. And this I have better. I'll take the weapon. I'll take a huge upgrade in the weapon. Like, Datea... It's fairly easy to get. It's a minor upgrade. This will be big until I get a second fucking one-hander. Yeah. We take this. It's a bit temporary, but we take it. It's also going to cost us about 20k gold. Oh, we get a Holz of Valor. <laughs> Dead key. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Big weapon. I guess we find a Suffolk Devotion real quick. Let's see what they are. They might not have hiked in pre price yet. 20k, I guess. If he found. Let's go. Fee fucking fun. That's a real fee fun. There we go. Oh, that. Why does that have to take so long? Is it because I have to fucking wonder why I fucking spent 20k on a weapon enchant while we're enchanting or. Alright. Big upgrade on the monk. Sadly, not exactly. Like, it was probably the one. Oh, the two. One of the two I didn't want. I didn't want a weapon. Although, or why? I didn't want a two handed weapon. I wanted a one handed weapon. I didn't want a two handed weapon. And I didn't want a neck. Anything else would have been good. But it'll work. It'll work. I if I want to complain, I should have more options, right? I totally forgot about the raid vault on the monk, actually. All right. Oh, a little quest depot. We will take... What do I have to do this time? Oh, just world quest. That's fucking free. Nice. I don't like when it's one of those events that come up every, like, three fucking hours, man. All right. Make sure we're in enhancement. We are in enhancement. Could I high roll some tier, please, for mythic? Like a Razagat head or a Brute Keeper shoulders or maybe a Grief Torch? Um, so the legs I don't want. Wow, this is really disappointing, actually. Mm. So the catalyst comes out soon, yeah? The catalyst comes out fairly soon. <coughs> hmm. This is not very good. This is not very good. Um, is this the best cape available? Oh, that was not what I wanted to press. Is this the best cape available? There's no better in the raid. Is there better? Hello? Is there better in the dungeons? I feel like there is. Uh, haste verse. That's not probably not better. Oh, I need, I need a back. That's the only back. Haste mastery. That is better. Crit haste. That's the same, right? It doesn't have a back. Crit haste again. This is the one, right? Crit haste. Yeah, gold scar pelt. So there is a haste mastery back. 
There's three bags from in here? Jesus. Oh, Cape of the Dusk was. This is the Code of Stars one. Okay. So we, we're we not taking these pants. Um, they're not the correct stats. We want Brute Keeper pants. Uh, the question is if we're taking the gloves. The question is if we're taking the gloves for the Catalyst. That's like a next week kind of kind of upgrade. But then again, the Thea does drop them, right? At 421. Hmm. Mm. This is probably the best available belt. Oh, man. So I was about to craft. I was going to craft the back piece. Um, I was going to craft the back with like my, my spark and one of these. Yeah. Um... Guess that's sorta of out of the question ish. I could take this trinket, but eh. Mm. But ten percent each second is the subside. So it's nine K per second to all enemies. So it ends up so it intensifies by ten seconds, so it's gonna uh, ten percent per second, so it's gonna end up at a hundred hundred percent. That's going to hit hard. Um, so this is the best belt outside of 20s, but do I craft the belt then? Do I just craft the belt then instead? I guess I just craft the belt instead. All right. It's time for the sims. Okay, so first and foremost, let's sim mm, the Kurok build. Oh, this is not easy, man. These are, these options are not good. That's sad. I was hoping for a little bit of... I was hoping that when I actually put in the effort that I would get a better vault. But uh, I guess... I guess one cannot be so lucky. Oh, I actually have a 415 chest piece in my bags for the vault. Um, I guess we sim the legs as well. Um, we can't sim the gloves. And we can't make them tier yet. So I guess we just hold on to those. Um, oh, we are using the wet scar trinket here. That is not what we should be doing. We should be using the puzzle box. Um... And there was no weapon in there. We need like agility and strength. Reinforced. So it is fierce, right? Yeah, I'm using fierce. And is that it? Mm. Oh, there's the belt, but it doesn't have a fucking socket on though. So I don't think it's going to be that good. All right. That is the, what's it called? That is the Korok build. Let's sim the Datea build real quick. Not that I, wait, is nothing different in terms of DPS? It's just, oh yeah, I don't have, um, I don't have Crash Lightning. Okay, so it is slightly different. So we are going to throw in a different sim. And then just, I think just for the fucking sake of it, we're going to throw a Terror sim as well. Um, throw these legs on. I'm not even going to sim the tier legs. They're just so shit. Uh, we should not be using the trinket. We should be using that trinket. And yeah. And then we throw a quick Teros. I think I'm going to end up taking the back piece. Um, that back piece is only going to be replaced by a fucking vault. Uh, and it's one specific one, right? Um, and it'll never be, it'll never be replaced in raid. It'll never, and I can't craft anything better. I was going to craft, um, a back piece, but I can just craft the belt, I, I guess. 
Um, this is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I would take the gloves for the fucking catalyst, but we're gonna kill the tear soon enough, I think. And I'm not entirely sure how the catalyst work. I already have a piece in my bags. So I don't really want to load up too many pieces already without knowing if we're going to have fucking extra charges or anything. Because if it comes out like it starts with, then lo and behold, you're going to be fucking, going to be fucking shit out of luck. Yeah. Um, comes out like it did the first time. And you just have one charge and then next week you have another charge and the week after you have another charge, right? <clears throat> okay, so... So the back piece is 600 DPS for the Kurok build. Well, it's not... It's not insane, right? Like... What is that in percent? Like, not even a percent. For the build I'm planning on playing on Detea, the build the belt is actually a downgrade from the one I have with a socket. Also, the one I have with a socket I can upgrade to 415, yeah. So it's just better. Um the back piece is a 605 DPS increase there, so it's actually worse. But it could maybe be different. Well, it shouldn't be different procs, right? Like. Mm. So that's sorta of that sort of crushes the belt, yeah. <clears throat> the trinket is... The trinket is worse than whetstone. Um, apparently. So... I don't understand, though, like... So, how does this work? How does this work? So it's going to hit. Let me just do. We do math. Okay. So it's going to hit for nine, five, six, six. Okay. That's the first hit. I assume it hits instantly. Then after a second. It's going to hit for. It's going to hit for, well, 10, 5, 2, 2, yeah? So now it's hitting for 20k. Then it's going to hit... Is it multiplicative, though? Is it multiplicative, though? Because then the next hit it is hitting for 11.5. So now we're on fucking 31.5. And then the next one hits for fucking 12.7. So what are we on now? 40... 43? 44? Ish, a little over 44.2. And then the next one hits for fucking 14. I don't know, man. That seems like it's gonna swing. Okay, so the Teros Sim is in. And it is a 667 upgrade on the Teros. <laughs> the belt is again a down decrease, man. Holy shit. So the bag is the upgrade. Um by all accounts, the bag is the upgrade. The legs are not good. They don't have the right stats. Mm, they are an upgrade, but they're a smaller upgrade. Um, they have the wrong stats. And I don't feel much use in gating them when there's a pair of pants that are just flat out better. And I think from dungeons as well. There is a pair that looks juicier if I don't... This one is probably better. 
Aren't there a pair of haste mastery? I feel like there is a pair of haste mastery. Just crit haste. They are better. Uh, am I drunk? Sleep deprived? I am both sleep deprived. Not drunk though. Not both. Wow. Dude, I am fucking tired. Also crit mastery. Maybe I am just fucking misremembering. That's the chest. Whoa. Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, I am misremembering. Okay. Well, there's still 424 that is just better. Whereas this is not likely. This has no deterministic upgrade. Um, there's no deterministic way for me to upgrade this. So I guess I take this and craft a belt. Does the belt come with a socket though when you craft it? That's the real question. That is the real question. Hmm. 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 Ah. I guess we just stopped thinking about it. This is a no bueno vault, so... I mean, I guess we did get lucky last week, but... We just take this and we'd be happy with it. It's a decent upgrade. It's a decent size upgrade. What key do we get? Azure. All right. Well, there we go. There we have it. Our new cape. That really put a wrench in my plans, actually. I was going to cry. I fucking... I just fucking finished setting up my fucking character to craft... To craft a fucking cape. I just finished setting up my warlock to craft capes. And here we are, not needing to craft capes. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to scramble to get my fucking now I need to scramble to get my fucking oh no all right watch this no trust here are one proc no no there we go it only took two there we go and this one is not gonna sell so whatever i should have just enchanted the cloak directly well there we go big cloak fuck man i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy that it's out early because i'm gonna release it at fucking 10 today i guess hope you enjoyed it hope i'll see you in the next one bye guys